It's 12.13 on at noon from KSFR News. The Santa Fe Area Realtors Association reports in with regularity every three months about home sales in the city and in the county. Their new report has just come out. Lois Surrey is the incoming president of the association and joins us on the line. Is this a good time for you to be coming on board as head of the Realtors Group? I think we're coming in, I'm coming into office at a positive time. How do the results look for the fourth quarter? For the fourth quarter, what we saw was is that inside the city limits, the median price held over the same time last year. And I think that's a good indication of things being positive. Now, what about the number of units sold? Was that up or down? That was down by 10. Okay, but 10 on a total of, what, 140 or so? 141 in 2007 and 131 in 2008. So that's a small decrease, uh, and, and the median price is holding steady. What about the county? The county is a different story. The county is where we see uh, the more difficulty happening. And so what we see there is uh, that the number of units is down as well as the median price. So in 2007, the median price was 549, 125,000, and now it is 427,500. The number of units sold in 2007 was 132, and it's 106 as of December 31st, 2008. We're talking compared with uh, the across the nation as a whole. We're talking small numbers: 141 in the city, 132. That's 270 some odd units total in a quarter, but. In general, how does this feel compared with the national experience? I think ours seems much more hopeful. I mean, I guess the one thing is, is, as we've always heard, is that all real estate is local. And this, I think, really demonstrates that our numbers really demonstrate it much stronger than other places. And we're lucky in that respect. What are buyers having to do to get mortgages these days? Well, we just had uh, Wells Fargo was in our press conference, and what they told us was, is that a little more documentation on their on on what is what they need in order to qualify for those loans. But there certainly are people that are in the pipeline. There are people that are qualifying. They just have a little bit more paperwork that they need to go through. Well, a little bit sounds a lot better than the tales we've heard of no paperwork being required before. Correct, and that's how we got here. And so it sounds reasonable. Yes, I think more so than anything is that I think it that 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 you know values remain strong, uh, that requirements are reasonable, uh, rates of course we all you know great interest that we have in interest rates, and that we see in the evening news as being a positive thing, and I think all of that's boding very well for home sales. Now the fourth quarter, October through December, is typically not your best time of year, is it? Correct. It's winter. So you can expect different results, maybe in the spring. That's what we're hoping for, and it appears that the telephones are ringing, and that the buying public is getting is finding more interest in finding a new home, a different home, or having to relocate. Lois Surrey at the Santa Fe Area Realtors Association. Many thanks. Let's take a look at the numbers then. In the city, the median price of a sold home during the October to December period was very nearly what it was the year before, about $350,000. The number of units was down slightly. The story in the county was different. The median price dropped to $427,000 from about $550,000 in the prior year, and the number of units sold was also down to 106 from 132.